Hello and welcome from Budapest. This is Hungary Reports from Public Media M1, bringing you the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sötzi. Great that you can be with us. Hungary's foreign affairs and trade minister said that the European Union should first concern itself with securing jobs for its citizens after so many people became unemployed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Peter Siato made his remarks at a video conference of the Council of the European Union. The talks partly centered on renegotiations on trade and migration with Africa, the Pacific nations and Caribbean countries. Siarto said that he is asking those EU member states who had continuously advocated even before the onset of the pandemic that Europe needs legal migration to solve manpower shortages to be cautious. Every Hungarian company will receive the required funds it applied for to invest in itself from the government's competitiveness grant program. In fact, the government has now tripled the amount of money available. That's what Hungary's foreign affairs and trade minister said. Peter Siarto made the announcement at a ceremony to present certificates from the competitiveness grant program. He added that 806 firms had applied with more than 890 million euros altogether available. Siarto also said that the government contributed almost half of that. A controversially run senior citizen's home in Budapest is in trouble again. The Metropolitan Municipality Home for the Elderly has been investigated a number of times by government authorities the past few weeks. It's just been handed another citation for not properly documenting medical care. It was also hit with a fine of about 580 euros. The institution is run by the city. So far, 50 of the home's residents have died as a result of COVID-19, while another 312 patients and 36 employees there have also been infected. The tree planting program in the county of Vesprame, west of Budapest, is continuing with 405 saplings being replanted at a forest near the town of Tapoza. That's just part of the preparations foresters are doing for next year's World of Hunting and Nature exhibition that Hungary will host. The government commissioner for the organization of the event said that it will be a big opportunity for Hungary both from a tourism and economic point of view. Zoltan Kovac also said that thanks to the reforestation program, there will be as many trees in Hungary as there were 100 years ago when Hungary lost two-thirds of its territory due to the Treaty of Trianon. The first big storm of the summer hit Hungary, battering parts of the country with hail and thunder showers. In eastern Hungary, hail the size of walnuts peppered the region, damaging roofs and chimneys, as well as causing severe damage to orchards. And in Kalazno, in Tolna County to the south, a mudslide made some roads impassable. While in Ketchkemate, in central Hungary, half a month of rainfall fell in just one day. Fire trucks across the country were called to more than 80 locations. More storms are expected Monday night. And that's all for now from Hungary Reports. However, we're back live every night after the Hungarian language news at around 11.20 p.m. You can also watch us in repeats and online. Please stay tuned now if you can. We also have shows in German, Russian and Chinese. Thanks very much for watching and Minden Jokt.